let's try uh, let's try this one more time shall we this is how you do unit tests in C sharp with a unit first we're going to choose our unit tests uh, uh, our unit test solution which is just a collection of class libraries uh, you'll see that we're using the ed unit framework here and we also have to include it in our references uh, which we could do by saying by right clicking on references saying add reference and coming down here to nunit.framework now we don't need to add it because we're good um, we also have to have our projects uh, under the projects tab um, referenced in our uh, unit test solution uh, we've already referenced both of these so we're good and now we can talk about the structure now they don't have your unit test classes don't have to inherit from anything as you can see here but you do need to label them as a test text picture uh, a test picture uh, maybe I could talk you also need to label your the setup uh, setup function as a setup function using that particular label and you need to label your tests with this label once we are done with that we will build them don't try to run them because they don't have any component to them that runs uh, these program these have built successfully so now we're ready to go into end unit where we, we say file open project and the uh, DLLs necessary will be over here in the uh, web service one class library one binary debug folder uh, the one that I currently have running is class library one dot DLL uh, I don't know why it has that name. I tried to give it other names, but that's the one ha the computer gave it. But since I've already imported it, all we need to do is say, is come here and select it, click run, and it will run our unit tests. And you can see they've passed. That's basically what you need to know. If you have any questions, email me, ask me on YouTube, ask me in Skype. I'm the photo man on Skype, just like my email address. Uh, I guess that's it.